This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Let's make use of our sample XLS file available in the working folder to look at exploring hiding, unhiding both columns and rows. The reason that you'd want to hide columns and or rows are mainly for printing reasons because hidden rows and hidden columns do not print. But more than that, you may wish to hide formulas from people using the sheet. You may wish to add some security, which we look at later on, so that you can hide some columns and rows and never actually let them be made visible to anyone who doesn't have the correct password. But for the moment, let's look at the mechanics of how to hide a column or how to hide a row, and just as importantly, how to bring them back again. The first step in hiding columns or rows is to highlight the column or rows that you wish to hide. So in the case of our sample sheet, on the More Data Extras tab, we will select column D, which is the column with all of Fred's data in, and the quickest way to hide that is just to right click and choose Hide. Because the column was highlighted, it's the column that gets hidden. You'll notice the black line that appears where the column was. If we click away, that black line disappears. Assuming you know the alphabet, you'll know there's a column missing because it goes A, B, C, E. If we wanted to hide another column, but by a different method, let's take column B. We can hide that using the menu, so under the Home ribbon, up to Format, down to Hide and Unhide, and come out and Hide Columns, and the column disappears. Again, you click away, and the black line disappears also. And the last method is our keyboard shortcut, always a favourite. Firstly, highlight the column, so we can do that with the keyboard as well, which is Control Spacebar, and then to hide that column is Control Zero, and the column disappears move away and the black line's gone. So we've actually hidden three different columns there, column B, column D, and column F. To unhide a column, those astute amongst you will have noticed that on the right click, we have unhide, but nothing happens. If I do the same on E, perhaps you have to be to the left of the hidden column, unhide, nothing happens. To bring back a specific column, you actually need to highlight both the column before and the column after. So by dragging across the top of the columns from E to G, if I then use right click on hide, the column in between E and G, in this case F, returns. So you actually have to highlight the range of columns both before and after the hidden column or columns to bring that column back. So again for C and E, let's highlight across because we want to bring D back. Let's go up to format this time, come down to hide and unhide, and this time unhide columns and the column comes back. We can do exactly the same for B, highlight across and then we can have a right click or format. Let's choose right click, unhide. The right click is certainly the quickest method here for hiding and unhiding. So columns to hide, highlight, right click, hide, format, hide, control zero. Any one of those options. You can hide more than one column at once. If I multi select CDE and do the quick right click hide, all three of them disappear. And to bring them back, highlight B to F, right click, unhide. Now with rows, effectively the mechanics is pretty much the same. We highlight the rows we'd like to hide, so let's take row three and four, right click, hide. You get the black line, but that disappears when you deselect. And you can see the numbers go one, two, and then to five, because three and four are hidden. We could do exactly the same in this patch. Let's highlight. 11, 12, and 13, format, hide and unhide, and this time we're looking to hide rows, and the rows get hidden. And we can do it again with the keyboard. So we come down to this section here, let's do shift spacebar to select that row, and control nine, and the row disappears. So you have right click, format up on the home menu, or control nine. Unhiding is the same, you need to make sure you highlight the before and the after, so in this case, 20 to 22, so that I can know that it would like to unhide row 21. Right click, unhide. In this case here, it would be 10 to 14. Format, hide and unhide. And this time, unhide rows. And finally, two to five. And let's use the keyboard shortcut to unhide these. So it was control nine to hide them. So it's control shift and nine, which effectively is the open bracket to unhide them. But whichever method you use to unhide, 
you always need to highlight the before and the after. So hiding columns and hiding rows a fairly straightforward process. You highlight the column or rows you'd like to hide, select the hide command, and they are then hidden, so they will not print, and any formulas in there will not be visible. Any formulas in there will still work, they just won't be visible to people. But we'll see that as we go into the formulas in a later lesson.